Hey everyone, and welcome to today's KiCad tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to import a 3D model for a component, uh, for a footprint that you're using in your design. Having a 3D model, or as I will say from now on, a step file associated with your component is quite handy, especially when you want to render your PCB, as you can do in KiCad. You render the PCB to see how they look in, in real life. And if your component doesn't have a 3D model link to it, it'll just show up as the footprint. And you can't actually get an idea and a feel for the dimensions of that component. Also, if you want to import your PCB into another you know, mechanical type of CAD software environment, um, maybe if you want to design an enclosure or something. So if you want to import it into a program like that, then uh, you kind of want your components to have their 3D models uh, as part of that file so that you can properly design your enclosure around the components and the physical dimensions and that sort of thing. Just a quick reminder before we get going, um, if you're enjoying these videos and particularly this video, please uh, could you give the video a like and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and uh, we would love to have you and we also have a community growing on Discord so please feel free to join that as well if you want to come chat about electronics, 3D printing, crafting, gaming, whatever. <laughs> For this example, we will make use of a battery charging circuit that we have done before on this channel. Uh, what you see now is just a work in progress version. And if we click, or not click, if we type uh, Alt 3, Alt 3 on the keyboard, it'll bring up a rendered view of our PCB. And as you can see, our footprint of the USB connector here doesn't have a 3D model associated, associated with it. So we will need to import one. Just one quick note while we're here. Um, it's not technically request, re required to have a 3D model associated with your footprint uh, for the PCB manufacturing process. You can still build your Gerbers and send it off to a PCB manufacturer uh, without any of your footprints having 3D models. So it, it's got no effect on that. It's more for rendering it so that you can see how it's going to look and for importing your PCB into other CAD software to design your enclosure or something like that. So the first thing we have to do is find the manufacturer part number or MPN for short of this USB connector that we need the, the step file for. So this can be found in the properties of the PCB footprint. The properties can be accessed by clicking on the footprint and pressing E on the keyboard or double clicking on the footprint. Navigate to the 3D settings tab and on the top here you will see this file path. Now the name of this folder is most likely going to contain the MPN. So if we copy this we can now use it to search for our 3D model. In general, there are about three places that we tend to get our step files from. The first being Google, by literally pasting in the MPN and getting it from the manufacturer's website. In most cases, that will be the easiest way to get the, the most accurate 3D model for that component. Otherwise, we also use uh, GrabCAD and 3D Content Central. But in today's tutorial, we will go the Google route and we just paste in what we copied previously. And you can see that the manufacturer pops up as one of the top results. So if we navigate to the manufacturer's website, it brings us to this page. On the right here, you can see actually what the model looks like. So this is what you would be downloading. If you scroll down, you'll see over here, 3D model. So just click on that. This is just the process for this particular component. Each manufacturer will have its own website and its own way of downloading the step file. But for this Molex component, this is how we do it. Um, and we like to get the step files. And it's downloaded. Come to where it's downloaded and quickly extract it. And inside you'll see the step file. Now we can import it. Come back to KiCad and 
open up the footprint properties, then click this folder. Then navigate to where you saved the step file. And come on, there we go, double click. And now you can see here is our step file put into our 3D rendering of our footprint, but it is definitely not in the right orientation. <laughs> so we will use these controls to make it fit. Very important to take note, first select this line before you start moving things around here because you don't want to by mistake be moving the WRL instead of the step file. So now with it selected, we can move it around. So now we have lined it up pretty nicely. Um, I had to rotate it minus 90 degrees and play with these offsets to make sure that all of these pins lined up nicely with these holes and I think it looks good. So now you can click OK. Now our footprint should be imported. So if we type <laughs> L3 on our keyboard to show the rendered view, you can see now on our rendering of our PCB that our USB connector shows up nicely in the 3D model. And that's it. That's all there is to it, to import a 3D step file for your footprint in KiCad. Thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.